All right, I'm gonna move this pretty uh, fairly quickly, so uh, let's get to it. This is the ZD1211 firmware. I'll provide um, everything that I'm doing at the bottom video description plus the link. So click on that. Uh, we'll go to firmware because that's the one we want to install because we get that one two three error or something like that. We want to click the latest. Then we want to click on that one. It takes a while. Uh, it should take a while, and then it should pop up in a little bit. Okay, once this pops up, save the file, then click OK thing right here, and then save it to the desktop. That's the first one down from the root. Click the save. Once it's saved, uh, let's see, clear that because I like to clear it. You can close that. Uh, open up the console. Okay, I'm already in root, but if you're not in root, use the sudo or the gksu commands in front so we want to get to the desktop we're not in desktop so let's get into the desktop by the desktop let's use the cd command and then type in desktop it has to be correctly once we type it in we can see the file this file right here we can see that it's downloaded right here once it's downloaded let's extract it oops i forget that there we go control shift copy I don't want to click all that uh, let's see then we use the commands uh, the commands uh, remember again use the sudo or the gksu or the su uh, whichever one works for you so let's uh, I'm already in root so I'm not going to use none of those it would actually look like this sudo tar or gksu tar uh, but I'm already in root, so tar slash xvwfzd1211, uh, and then the firmware thing. There you go. And then click the letter Y on your keyboard to copy it over. I'm pretty sure there's a faster way, but eh, there's not very many of them. Okay, once you have it all copied over, the new folder will appear on your desktop called the firmware. This one right here will appear. Once it has appeared, we want to see if the of if the folder is already in the in the um, lib firmware files. So let's go see. So root no 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 cd uh, lib firmware and then ls. If you don't have it, you can uh, recreate it by typing in the using the uh, make the uh, directory command. So it's already there on my end. If you don't have it, if you don't have this folder, that folder, if you don't have that, then you're going to make it dir. Remember using the sudo, uh, sudo and the or or gksu or the su commands in front of the mkdir that's to make directory zd1211 in case you're not in the root command I'm in the root command I already have the file so I don't have to make that um, command so we want to go back to, to the desktop where we were and we want to work in that folder so let's go back cd uh, root oops capital D desktop because case sensitive here and then ls and then as you can see the folder is right there that was the one that we just created from extracting once we're in there we have to go into the desktop um, I'm into the folder that we created so Z, uh, CD ZD1211 from where and then that's just going in here going into that folder once we are into that folder we want to um, copy the files from here to the folder uh, up here to this to this to this uh, folder up here so uh, you remember using the sudo or gksu or the su command in front of this if you're not in root because I don't know why people I have to remind them constantly even though I say it in all my videos I, I think I only have to say it once but you know there you go so if you're not in root um, use those commands in front cpzd1211 underscore uh, slash and then lib uh, firm where zd 12 12 11
Once you got that, press enter. Remember using the GKSU and the sudo thing. Once it's done, it's pretty much straightforward. Um, go back into that folder. So cd uh, slash lib firmware zd12.11. And there are. I mean, that's never mind. Uh, but see, as you can see, all the files are here. Uh, the ones that won't show up here are probably these right here. Whoop, these right here. These right here. These 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 ones won't show up. These ones won't show up in there. Um, you can go ahead and copy them if you want by manually copying them, but you know, going into the folder and copying them, like uh, doing this. A copy. Uh, and then uh, going into this dolphin file manager clicking on the root I think it's the root uh, yeah and then lib where is lib there's lib and then firmware where's firmware there's firmware and then zd11 there's a zd11 and then control paste uh, right click placed our control and see mine's already there uh, apply to all uh, overwrite and that's pretty much it if you want to go and do ahead and do it that way there's also that way to do it uh, once you have it in there oh, I think it's still pasting or something cancel anyways once you have it in there I don't have the little device thing uh, there we go. It's all copied. Uh, well, I don't have all. I don't. Ha I don't know where I put that little USB um thing that I had that made you see that it works. But um, uh, you did it correctly. It should it should work just fine. If you did it wrong, do it again. The reason I don't do it this way is because it's a, it's a lot of hassle, and um. Yeah, it's just too much. So this is the uh, this is the first video out of the year that I make. I hope you enjoyed your Christmas and your New Year's, and now we can start in the new videos. Uh, I don't know why I had to do redo this video, but the dev file was a whole lot easier than this. So, um, well, I guess some people are still having problems with the other one. I don't know why. The only way I can help you is to go on your computer and do it for you. Uh, so this is Cure My Mind saying, have a good one. I'll go play some games or something.